Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve this non homogeneous differential equation. Firstly, obtain the complementary function for the associated homogeneous equation, which is the left hand side. We can rewrite as a function of m by referring to the order of the derivatives. This is second order, so we have m squared. First order, m to the power of 1. Zero order, m to the power of 0. Followed by the coefficient 1 plus 2 plus 1. And we set equal to 0, which means that we should have a function m squared plus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. Factorize, we should have m plus 1 square is equal to 0. Since we have exactly the same roots for this case, which means that we should have a general function of e to the power of mx times c1 plus c2x which means that the associated complementary function is equal to e to the power of negative x times c1 plus c2x next is to obtain the particular integer by referring to the right hand side since the right hand side is a degree 3 polynomial which means that the particular integer should have a general form of ax q plus bx squared plus cx plus t. Differentiate with respect to x, we obtain 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c. Differentiate again, we should have 6ax plus 2b. Substitute all this into the equation that we have. Firstly, we have the second order, which is this. We have 6ax plus 2b followed by plus 2 times the first order, which is 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c. And we have plus y, which is ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And this is equal to the right-hand side, which is x cubed. Let's expand and rewrite the left-hand side. We should start with x cubed. We have coefficient a followed by x squared. Check the equation we should have 2 times 3, which is 6, followed by a and we plus b, and this is positive, followed by x, and we have 6a, 2b times 2, and c, which means that we have 6a plus 4b plus c and this is positive lastly the constant we have 2b 2c and d so this is 2b plus 2c plus d and this is equal to the right hand side x cubed compare the corresponding coefficient we have a is equal to 1 since this is 1 refer to x squared since on the right hand side we do have x squared which means that we should set equal to 0 in other words 6a plus b is equal to 0 since a is equal to 1 which means that b is equal to negative 6 next we have 6a plus 4b plus c also set equal to 0 since we don't have x on the right. In other words, this is equal to 6 times 1 plus 4 times negative 6 plus c is equal to 0. c is equal to positive move over become negative. Negative move over become positive 6 times 4 is equal to 24 and hence we have 18. Lastly, we have the constant 2b plus 2c plus d is equal to also set equal to 0 since we don't have constant for the right hand side. b is equal to negative 6, so we have 2 times negative 6 plus c is equal to 18, so we have 2 times 18 and plus d. This is equal to 0. In other words, d is equal to minus spring over plus. 12 plus bring over minus 36 so which means that we have negative 24 and now we can form the equation 
which means that the particular integral should have equal to a substitute into this particular integer, which means that we have x cubed plus b is negative 6, x squared, c is equal to 18, and d is equal to minus 24. Since the solution of this differential equation is y equal to complementary function plus particular integral, which means that we have e to the power of negative x times c1 plus c2x plus x cubed minus 6x squared plus 18x minus 24, and hence we're done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.